Hey all, Hibo here. So today we're taking out the new tier 7 rental ship, the Hampshire. And of course we're putting on an agile build because that's what we do on this channel here. So as you can tell, I actually remember to put all the you know stuff on the ship this time and we go full turret rotation, full rudder and uh, as much speed as we can possibly get. So uh, three heals, three sonars and four spotters. So you don't get radar, it's a little bit of a shame, and uh, you also don't get AT shells, but you do get 2.1 rudder and 34 knots. So uh, it's a decent ship, I like it. Um, I haven't only played it five battles, but it's pretty good. Uh, nearly 2,000 average XP, so yeah, bad, not bad. So uh, lots of green here, like, uh, and uh, the Citadel is not as big and nasty as Albemarle's, but uh, like you can still get you know, Citadel very, very easily, and especially through the bow and the stern. You saw how big, especially the stern green area was before, it's huge. So uh, the battle has just begun and of course we have two absolutely useless battleships already. Uh, you can see the two and uh, like following me, like why would you follow the cruiser that's trying to go down the flank to set up crossfires? Like some people just don't have a clue about this game and I can tell already from this like opening minute here that those two battleships are, you know, 1000 XP battleships. They're just gonna be in the game, they're not gonna contribute, they're not gonna do anything, and you know, they may be lucky to get in a few shots and they're gonna end at like 900 or 1000 XP in a loss or something like that, which is, you know, uh, par for the course in this game here because most people have absolutely zero understanding of what they're doing and, uh, you know, what is a good play and what they should be doing uh, it's just infuriating. And uh, anyway, we got this Bismarck here moving in, and uh, obviously he's broadside on. That's just been I've been waiting for. And we only have AP in the ship here, so it's not like we can burn him down. We're gonna have to uh, do it the slow way with AP here. And uh, it's both battleships, look what they're doing. They're finding an island as usual, and then they sit behind it, broadside of course. And uh, I'm, it's just, it's just crazy. At least the battleship in the middle, uh, they actually set up a very nice crossfire over there. So if my battleships on this side did the same, it would be very, very easy to totally destroy those two battleships out in the middle there because they're broadside on to four battleships, or they could be broadside on to four battleships. But instead, the only one who's actually shooting at them is me because no one else is in a position to do anything. And I mean, that's just a huge fail. I mean, you're playing at T7 and like, how can you be so bad at the game? Like, it's just, it's just crazy. It's super obvious that most people who play this game, they just load into the game, they don't have a plan, and they don't have a plan at any point in the battle. Uh, they just sail around randomly and shoot randomly and, you know, don't think. And, uh, yeah, it's just annoying. And sometimes uh, the game itself works against you. You'll see here in a minute, how the auto aim like totally saves this Atlanta here because he should have been removed from the game. So and I'm just trying to wait until he sees me because of course this guy hasn't even seen me yet. So uh, there we go, broadside and uh, this next salvo should remove him except for the fact that the game thinks, oh, he probably wants to shoot at the Iowa. Uh, no, I don't want to shoot at the Iowa and I'm struggling to get the back on the Atlanta but too late and I'm <laughs> like, come on. It's just ridiculous. I mean, as if the player base isn't bad enough, you also still have to like work around these small box and or slash niggles that just have followed this game for the last five years. And uh, yeah, what can you do? <laughs> Nothing other than, you know, complain about it in videos, which is what I'm doing. So uh, this Atlanta here looks like he's just gonna come full around this island here. Um, which, you know, makes you wonder, because why would you do that? He's in an Atlanta. I can pretty much citadel him from any angle. Uh, I assume. I actually didn't look how big the guns are on Hampshire, but they seem pretty big. And uh, if I was in Atlanta, I would be a little bit careful, uh, you know, going one-on-one -on -one with a Hampshire. So here I'm thinking, ah, oh, should I torp these battleships here who are obviously completely unaware of my presence here? Although I am five kilometers from them in a torpedo-armed cruiser. Um, and also look at the two battleships I spawned with. Like I predicted, like they're just sitting behind an island down there and uh, they're getting pushed by the battleships 
uh, here, five kilometers from me. How can you get pushed by battleships like this? How terribly bad are you at the game then? <laughs> I mean, those battleships have been out there broadside for ages. And there's only one battleship in a position, the guy in the middle, to actually punish them for it. Everybody else is just clueless. So uh, yeah, fun and good times here in uh, Legends today. So uh, I'm finally gonna get this Atlanta here because now he's uh, he's broadsiding, uh, not completely, but at an angle, which is what we want. And he has four kilometer tops, not gonna touch me at all. And uh, the Wichita tries to come to his aid now. Of course, it's way too late. So uh, I'm gonna be unspotted in a minute when this Wichita goes around the island. And you know, he knows I'm here. He's well aware I'm here because he's shooting at me even again there. And uh, you know, it would make sense to come out on the other side of the island, bow on, or stern on, or kiting, or something, make some sort of, you know, uh, smart move. And then look at those two battleships there. Look at them just sitting behind the island, waiting to get, <laughs> like, destroyed by these two red battleships. And I just don't know what's going on here. I've never seen the gameplay as bad as it is at the moment. So uh, anyway, this is Wichita. We're thinking, oh, he's probably broadside. Yep, there he is. Well, you get a broadside, and uh, there you go. Nice double citadel. Not as much damage as I was expecting. So, uh, of course, now I'm broadside. I was actually thinking I might one-shot him, but uh, of course not. It's a Wichita. So, uh, anyway, we just try to angle a little bit here, get that thick uh, armor in the middle into play, use the acceleration, and uh, we should be able to out-DP him this Wichita here, even though we don't have HE. So we got a citadel there, kind of saved me, and uh, he's angling now, but then it's like, what? it's too late. You already went broadside for two salvos, like, dude. So anyway, and uh, now we get to see these two red battleships here, who should have been punished a long time ago, because there's seven ships on my team. And instead, they actually managed to take out both of these blue battleships here. I, I have never seen, well, I have actually, but that's just some of the worst gameplay I have ever seen by those blue battleships. That's ridiculous. And, uh, and I also note how the red team has a staggering 30 points. Um, you know, with seven minutes to go in the game. Um, yeah, I have this theory that all the good players are playing uh, training rooms in you know in their fleets and that's why there's no one left in standard battles who knows how to play but i don't know anyway uh, the game is certainly uh like in a bad spot at the moment so uh anyway hope you enjoyed it see you out there